that the planet had begun to stop warming. This was years ago. This is what's now known as the global warming pause. There have been no global warming since 1998, depending on how you read the charts, maybe a little earlier. They were saying it's all tied to the sun. The sun is headed for a shutdown, and we're probably going to get a lot colder. But their conclusions kept getting rejected, and they're basically told, do what we say, kind of thing. And these folks, I mean, I have Who's providing that funding on the IPCC? Um, different elements of the green gold. movement all over the planet. Lots of corporations, too. Gold, yeah. Goldman Sachs. <laughs> yeah, a lot of movements. Uh, it's wild. And I happen to know that these individuals all needed loans just to go to school. And I knew that they, you know, these guys were married. They had started to have families. They weren't in a position to put their, the economic well-being of their families in jeopardy. Right, right. And so I just started to dive right from there. Other than that, um, you know, I was interested in earthquakes. I was interested in the weather. I was interested in the sun. And you realize really quickly that People have never looked at all these things day to day right. together. Our scientists don't watch earthquakes. People who study the weather don't study the sun. And I know this because I'm not smarter than any of the people that do this. I'm just a regular guy like all of you. But we're not necessarily. Yeah, the, the, it's proper name is a grand minimum. Okay. Uh, grand minimum period of activity. The sun's not going to stop shining. Right. The, so is the luminescence of the variable luminous? Is that kind of that shit may at all? change a little bit. The main changes are in uh, radio flux from sunspots, so the radio emissions that go out to the solar system, uh -huh. the X ray <coughs> and extreme ultraviolet solar flare energy, ultraviolet, okay. um, the coronal mass ejections, which are the actual ejections of the particles from the sun, mm -hmm. are becoming weaker and things like that. So while you have the uh, irradiance of the sun varying by a factor of 0.1%, a tenth of 1%, even over the 11 year solar cycle. When you get into the extreme ultraviolet, the x ray, those things can fluctuate 10, 100 times based on sun, solar minimum versus solar maximum. And so the sun may not even look any different, you know, color wise, brightness. Uh, maybe if you're really, really astute, you might be able to pick it up. But um, how's it going? Good. Maybe we can expand out a few more. Yeah. Yeah.